How do I tell my friends that I'm dying? Wow, I'm so sorry to hear that. I don't know what to say really. But I think that your friends would appreciate knowing it because I'm sure they want to make the best of the time you have left and tell you how much they love and care for you. I know I would. Honestly, I would ask them if they could come over or meet up and let them know that you have something serious to talk about with them. Sit them down and just be as honest as you feel comfortable being. I don't think you need to say, I'm gonna die this year or sooner, unless that is what you want to tell them. But I would let them know that last year you were diagnosed with a terminal illness and that you value their friendship enough that you wanted them to know. If you wanted, you could ask if they have questions or anything like that. Speaking as a person who had a friend not tell her about a terminal diagnosis until the very end. It was really difficult. And I wish I had known earlier not only to prepare myself, but so that I could have been a supportive person and helped my friend. Please make sure that you are taking care of yourself when you tell them to. I couldn't imagine how difficult that would be emotionally. So please make sure that you have some support after going through this emotional experience. As someone who was on the other side of this situation just a few months ago. Being the friend. I would say at the very least they do want to know. One of my best friends went about it by sending a decently detailed Discord post. Since we are all in different countries. Stating that she would be passing in three weeks. It is a sure thing. And that if we have any questions or anything she will do her best answering them. As none of us had any idea what was going on it was an incredible shock. But after a day or two of talking and processing a bit it ultimately gave us the opportunity to do. Everything we could to make her last time whatever she wanted it to be. For our situation. She had just gotten into Valheim so I got a dedicated server set up and our group of friends played. Every night those three weeks and got her through all the current content and had a lot of fun. Together. We had the chance to say goodbye. To prepare for her passing. And ultimately tell her that we love her and are happy to have gotten to know her. Don't know if my story there is helpful to you at all but mostly wanted to say that keeping it a secret until you pass will likely leave those friends with a lot of unanswered questions. Whereas telling them lets everyone involved have a chance to partake in your final time in whatever way you wish. That being said, it is ultimately up to you. It is your life. And you are the one who gets to decide how you wish to spend your time. For my situation personally I will forever be grateful my friend felt safe enough to include us at the end. But every situation is of course different. Apologies for the wall of text. I am so sorry you are having to deal with this situation. And I wish you all the best hugs. Raise your hand if you don't have a friend with a terminal illness not so fast buddy. Quote. Sorry for the bad joke. Op. I think you should be as honest with your friends as you feel comfortable with. I'd want to know if my friend was sick and how to support them and their family. Yes. Tell them. Suggested wording. Just wanted to make sure that you were aware that I have been diagnosed with a serious illness. The prognosis isn't good. But I've accepted it. Please don't treat me any different. I want to enjoy my time while I can. Oddly enough I was, am in a very similar situation. I waited for a few months to tell most people. I wanted to have a better understanding of exactly what my situation was before I told most people. I also found a support group at my local hospital. We meet online. To attend and ask them for ideas on how to tell people. Key people family, close friends, etc. I told in person. I usually did it one-on-one -on -one and always when I knew we had time to talk. I gave them clear information. I have been diagnosed with and my doctors expect I have about time left to live. 
I also asked them if they had questions right now or needed some time to think for a while. Last, I told them I wanted to build memories for those I'll be leaving behind and asked them if there was something specific they wanted to do together. After the initial conversations I made an email list to send out regular updates. Now that the key people all know I let others sort of find out more naturally. I've been sick for a while so opportunities to share come up pretty easily. If I was your friend I'd want to know. Maybe just say. Hey can we grab a beer sometime next week? There's something important for me to share. Of course it's your decision in the end. Good luck. Death is a really hard thing to come to terms with. Especially in your 20s. The jury is out on which is worse. The sudden death of a friend or family member or a long. Drawn out loss. In my limited experience. Having time to prepare has helped me cope with losing family members. And those sudden deaths have torn me apart brutality. Dying is something we will all face one day and we can only strive to do so with grace while fighting it like hell. You will fight better with your friends beside you than if you fight alone. So please tell them. Maybe wait until after finals and find a quiet place to talk to each of them so that they have a chance to ask questions and to come to terms with what it means for your future. And you will be friends for the rest of your life. Good luck op. My comment will probably be buried. But I wanted to share my two cents. First. I'm very sorry about your prognosis. I can only imagine how hard that must be. A couple of weeks ago. I got a message from my ex-husband's best friend. He thought I should know that my ex-husband died of cancer that he's only known about for six months. I was in complete shock. I hadn't talked to him in over a year. But I knew that when we were together he showed signs of illness. I could never get him to accept that he needed help. I suddenly felt like there was so much more I could have done. Maybe it all could have been avoided? Probably not. Yet I blamed myself. The worst part was. Having been left outside of the loop so to speak. I felt that I had no right to grieve. With all of that being said, I think your friends deserve to know and if they've been paying attention. They've probably seen signs of your illness. If you're just gone one day and they get that, hey, op, is gone, message. They won't get any sort of closure and they may feel that since you didn't tell them. They don't have a right to grieve and it's a hard feeling. Yes, telling them will be hard. And yes. Them knowing they're going to lose their friend will be hard. But it'll make it easier in the future for them I think. Plus. They can help make the best of your remaining time. Just take everything one day at a time and take everything in. Make memories with them and your family. Heart. Please tell your friends. Even though it will be really difficult. One of my closest childhood friends didn't tell anyone he had terminal cancer when we were in our 30s. I never got to say goodbye to the friend I had played with all those years and searched for pirate treasure during our vacations. And it still hurts decades later that I was never able to tell him how special he was or how much I enjoyed our friendship. First of all I am so sorry for your situation. Second this is a difficult question. If you don't tell them they are going to be shocked and hurt when it does eventually come out. How long can you realistically keep it from them without them knowing? If they are really your friends they will be with you when things get difficult in the coming months. This isn't going to be an easy journey for any of you and people all handle grief differently. It may put a sour note on your last few months with them but it may also give you the chance to really savor experiences that are truly valuable. I can also understand the desire to put it off though. To keep things as they are for as long as possible and not cloud things with reality. The thing is there will come a time when you can't hide it. When the truth will come out. 
It's not about if you should yell them but when. And that's something only you can really know with your friend group. There is no playback for this sort of thing. Whatever it is it shouldn't be an afterthought. Invite them over have people sit around. In a group or individually. And tell them. Give them time to process. Having lost friends. It'll tell you for sure. They'd rather know. They will want to know they did everything they could to help ease your life even fight your sickness if they can. They will hate forever that you leave without saying goodbye and you love them. They will want to tell you they leave you too and are sad to know you're going. Do not leave them without warning. Especially if you aren't coming back. First things first. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you're doing well. I think you should tell sooner than later. It's better for them to know what will happen and get ready for when it happens. If they know, they can dedicate more time for you and make your last month some of the best experiences you had. So far, they might become sad for a while but it's a lot better than to wait for things to start to really manifest itself and it'll both hurt you and them a lot. If your friends are all IRL friends, call them for a meeting with friends. Say it's important and that you need to tell something for them. Go to a place you all enjoy and start the conversation as usual. Them simply open yourself for them. Tell them how important they are and the good experiences you had with them. This might make them stay in shock for a while but personally I think it's better to deal with this now than later. They can also support you and help you a lot. Trust your friends. They will be there for you until the end. Please post an update later if you decide to talk to them or not. I'm curious to see how this goes. I would want to know. If I were really close to you. I would also probably want to know if there was anything you wanted for us to do or if you'd rather. Be left in peace with your family. It's your choice though. I wouldn't think it terribly selfish if you wanted them to just think of you the way they do now. I hope whatever time you have left is really nice and comfortable. If possible. I'm sorry you might be leaving us early. I think they should know so you can make the last of your time on this earth the best. Tell them when you're ready. It's your life. Your choice. You don't deserve to be treated differently and suffer through this. Especially at a time like this. Only when you feel good about it. Talk it through with your family first. I've lost college friends suddenly. I think for me. I would have wanted to know. Simply so that I could tell them how much they mean to me. And create some special. Intentional memories with them. Not being able to say goodbye to my friend was really. Really hard. I also think there's something to be said for having their support and levity as things get more. Tough. With that said, I do understand not wanting anything to be different. And I think they'd probably understand too if you go that route. Perhaps if you decide to tell them. Asking specifically that they don't treat you differently. That you want things to stay the same. And they don't owe you pity or sympathy might help. Perhaps telling them it's not their job to make you feel better or to feel sorry. Their job is simply to be your friend by letting them off the hook, so to speak. It takes the pressure off of all of you to act a certain way or say a certain thing and gives you space to be what you've always been. Amazing friends. I am a big proponent of handling tragedy with inappropriate comedy. So I'd probably handle it something like, hey guys, raise your hand if you're gonna be alive in a few years. Quote. Then make a big show of starting to raise your hand then put it down. Why don't you have a party, get together have a great night together but before they get too wasted. Have a prepared letter written to them that one of them reads out to the group while you leave the room. Or if you want to give them time to process it leave and go home. But explain that in the letter. I'm so sorry you dying. Really shit. 
I'm crying for a total stranger on Reddit. Enjoy you time. I wish you a nice painless death. A good death. I probably plan a nice trip, party and tell them after drinks and food. You can answer all of their questions once. Make it clear you don't want them to be different around you. But what's really good is that you give them time to prepare. Grief is much easier when it is not unexpected. And I bet they will really appreciate your trust that they are important in your life and you shared such news with them. You will also be able to find support. Make sure you all have opportunities to be in the moment and truly enjoy each other's company. Ultimately it is up to you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.